Hey there pretty people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome, how are you? Today's gonna be another review of some Main Choice products, but this time I'm featuring some items from their Tropical Moringa collection. The ones that I have to talk about today are the Sealing Cream, the Pearly Braid Out Glaze, and the Restorative Spray. Let's just get right into it. I do want to briefly mention that all the products I tried from this collection do have the same scent, and it's what you would expect with the collection being named Tropical Moringa. It does have more of a tropical floral scent versus a tropical fruit scent, but I personally think it's a very pleasant scent, and it is fairly strong. For those of you who care, I did make sure to check, and fragrance is the very last ingredient for all the products that I'll be talking about today. Starting off with the sealing cream, the consistency of this product is again what you would expect. It's going to be creamy. All I'll say is it's a little thinner than like a leave-in conditioner or a curling cream and I think that has to do with the fact that this product isn't really supposed to add moisture to your hair. As the name suggests, it's more of a sealant than a moisturizer so however moisturized your hair was before you applied this product is how moisturized it's going to feel after you've already applied it so just keep that in mind. But with that being said, I did like the product and I definitely did like how it felt on my hair after I applied it. It did didn't feel like it just sat on top of my hair it felt like my hair absorbed it pretty well and fairly quickly actually but again it's not going to add moisture so moving on to the pearly braid out glaze the consistency of this reminded me a lot of the treatment mask from their metabolism collection if you watched the video where I reviewed those products I did mention I felt like that mask had more of a gel like consistency versus a traditional deep conditioner or treatment mask and after using this glaze I'm definitely gonna double down on that opinion because they basically have like almost the exact same consistency Consistency. They're both really thick, they both behave the same, and they are both also pretty sticky. I feel like the stickiness kind of helps with the application of this glaze because a little bit really went a long way in terms of defining my curls. I think I took a few pictures, so I'll try to insert them if I remember, hopefully I do. But the definition that I got after applying this glaze, like, it was just crazy. I am not a person who does wash and goes just because I've never been able to find a gel that really defines my hair, but also because I don't really like how my hair feels with a wash and go. It just gets very tangled really easily. But using this glaze, I was like, maybe I should try a wash and go. Like maybe I should revisit because this one is working. I'm gonna try to wait until after I've tried the other gels that I've bought to buy another one because I actually didn't realize this, but without Thinking about it, I've been reaching for this gel every single wash day since the first time I used it. The first time I used it was in that main metabolism video where I just paired it with leave-in conditioner because I didn't have a styler from that collection. But I just, I literally, when I sat down to film this and I was like, you know, making sure I had all my talking points, it dawned on me that I have used this braid out glaze every single wash day since that video. So... I think I found my staple, y'all. So the last product I'm going to talk about is the Restorative Spray, and if you watched my Main Choice haul video, then you saw that I didn't really have high expectations for this product just because I know my hair at this point and I know that I'm not able to spray liquid on my hair after I've styled it and my curls just magically be refreshed. That's not how my hair works. But I wanted to give it a fighting chance, so I read the instructions and I did exactly what they told me to do. I do believe I took some pictures again, so if I remember to, I will insert them, but this definitely did not restore my curls in that my curls did not look the way they looked when I had just taken my style down. I styled my hair in a braid out, waited about three to four days, and then I went in with this spray and it didn't define my hair. It did exactly what I thought it was going to do and that it made my hair pretty frizzy, but I don't really mind that because I've kind of been moving away from obsessing over curl definition lately. I basically was just seeing if this would genuinely re-moisturize my hair and it kind of did. I don't really have that much to say about this product other than I would probably use it as a, I would use it as a refresher, but I'm not going to think that it's going to define my curls. And even that day, I didn't think it was going to, I was fully prepared to just throw my hair up in a puff. But honestly, my hair didn't look horrible. It just was a little bit more frizzy than I would like it. So those are my thoughts on the products that I got from that collection. My very favorite would definitely have to be the braid out glaze. If you've tried any of the things that I mentioned, let me know how you liked it or if you had a similar experience with them or if I was just, you know, not the smartest apple in the bunch and if I made a mistake somewhere you let me know girl um but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching if you liked what you saw and you're not subscribed you can go ahead and do that ring that bell if you want to but that's all for me today have a wonderful day Mwah.